Hi there, and welcome to this week's edition of Top End Track Talk. We've had a bit of a break since the Great Northern Darwin Cup Carnival and racing returns to Fanny Bay this coming Saturday with the Air North Race Day featuring a bumper six race card on the 31st of August. Five races were programmed for this weekend, but with excellent nominations, the 0 to 58 1300 metres was divided at acceptance time. Some 53 horses are entered for this weekend and it promises to be a great return to racing at HQ. Before we have a look at Saturday's card, Top End Track Talk has teamed up with Garrod's Horse and Hound, Darwin's one-stop shop for all equine and canine products. And each week Garrod's will be sponsoring the best ride and top training performance to the tune of a $50 Garrard's voucher alternating between top end race meetings. The sponsor sponsorship began at the Catherine meeting a fortnight ago and courtesy of a treble of wins Melanie Tyndall is the inaugural winner of the $50 Garrard's voucher. Mel had a day out at Catherine scoring her seventh career three-timer and she now sits on 149 career wins. Well done to Mel, enjoy spending your voucher at Garrard's in Winelli. At our next Top End Track Talk, trainers will be in line for the voucher, which applies to this coming Saturday's meeting here in Darwin. This Saturday, the first race gets underway at 2.34pm Northern Territory time, and in the opener, it's the first division of the Air North. Together we fly, Trobus Handicap over 1300 metres. My numbers are 3, 1, 4 and 2. Going here with number 3, and I can tell you, trained by Neil Dyer, this will be Neil's last meeting in the top end before he heads uh, south back to uh, Kyneton. And Stan Sakos, Stan had a day out in Alice Springs last Friday, he won a treble uh, down there. He takes, uh, or makes the trip to Darwin rather, and uh, takes them out here on, and I can tell you. Was a good winner uh, here on day seven of the carnival, that was breaking maiden uh, ranks. And then last time out at Catherine finished fourth, I didn't mind the run there. I think back here in Darwin, and I can tell you, can uh, uh, give Neil a, a perfect send off by winning the first. number. A three on top for me, ahead of number one Windsor Cup from the Sheila Arnold stable, Paul Shires in the saddle, uh, only had uh, a couple of runs during the Cup Carnival, didn't race badly, he's a couple of fourth placings, his last two, he should be right in the party. In for third, uh, number four Extraction uh, from the Carl Spry stable, Carl takes the mount here, he's had a little bit of a break, Carl, since the Carnival, uh, just uh, back uh, the, for his first meeting uh, this weekend, and Extraction, a fourth and a third, uh, the last two runs here in Darwin, the four-year-old by Medaglia Dioro, my fourth selection, number two, Dunkirk. Three, one, four and two in the first. The second, it's the Air North Together We Fly Division 2, uh, the 0 to 58 over 1300 metres. Numbers here, 4, 2, 1 and 5. Going here with number 4, recording to win, I've actually made this my bet of the day, trained by Phil Cole, Jared Todd in the saddle. It's only had the uh, four starts in Darwin for a first, a second, a fourth and a fifth. Raced really well during the carnival, uh, won two starts back uh, on the 31st of July and then on uh, Cup Day, behind the very much informed Tristoff, uh, finished a very good second, I think can get back in winning form again here number four for me on top recording to win Head of number two, Honour the Work. One for Neil Dyer at Catherine uh, the other week. Stan Sakos in the saddle. Should go on with the job. In for third, number one, Dubawi Sniper. Finished uh, second at Catherine behind Choice Approach. Vanessa Arnott for Jason Manning. Fourth selection, number five, and that is Alberta Magic. Four, two, one and five in the second. The thirds, the Air North No Need for Holiday Envy Handicap. Uh, it's a benchmark 54, it's over the 1100 metres. Numbers here, eight, six, five and three. I'm going here with number eight, Fire and Vice. It's had a change of stable and a change of owners uh, since last racing, formerly trained by Gary Lafoe Jr. Now in the stable of Jason Manning, Vanessa Arnott in the saddle. The last two runs during the carnival were really good, a second and a fifth placing. And uh, I think uh, with the change of stable, nothing against Gary, but I think uh, horses often uh, race well in this condition and I've got it on top here. Number eight, uh, Fire and Vice. Ahead of number six, I'm a Puppet, incidentally trained by Gary Lafoe Jr. Paul Shires in the saddle. Two runs in Darwin, uh, or in the top end rather, one in Darwin, one in Catherine. Haven't been bad, last start at Catherine, finished fourth, got it in for second. In for third, number, th uh, number five, rather, Ruth's boy uh, for Neil Dyer, Stan Sakos, uh, a win, a second, a third, and then another second in its last four starts in the top end, racing really well, owned by a good mate of mine and Mick Templeton. I uh, hope it can go well for Mick and my fourth selection, number three, Bonnier. Eight, six, five and three in the third. The fourth uh, on this Air North day is the Territory's home growing airline handicap. It's a class two, it's over the thousand metres. The numbers here, two, one, six and seven. 
Uh, number two for me, Madame Duporth from the stable of Kerry Petrick and Paul Denton in the saddle as normal. Uh, resumed from a long break uh, here on uh, the 3rd of August and after racing three wide uh, throughout, uh, battled on well to run fourth. I thought it was a really good run. The 1,000 metres will suit. It's got a better barrier draw this time and I think Madame Duporth can be winning. Number two on top for me, ahead of the obvious danger, number one, Avunavalu from the Phil Cole stable, Jared Todd aboard. Two seconds, uh, the last two starts behind another bit and Rock Atomic. So so it's in great form, number one. In the third, uh, number six, Aggression. Uh, Carl Spry trains Wayne Davis aboard. Uh, it's four starts in Darwin have been full of merit. Hasn't won one yet, but getting close to it. And my fourth selection here is number seven, Strategic Journey. Two, one, six, and seven. The fifth, Air North flying to the Kimberley Daily Handicap. The 0 to 64 event over the 1,000 metres. Numbers here 4, 1, 6, and 2. Number 4, one of the inform horses from uh, the carnival in Rock Atomic. Gary Lafoe Jr. trains. Paul Shires in the saddle. Bolted in its last two uh, efforts here, the 31st of July and the 5th of August. Day 6 and 8 of the carnival. Uh, it's had a bit of a fresh in since. No reason it can't go on with the job. Four on top for me. Head of number 1, Moral Outrage. Stan Sakos for Neil Dyer. Good uh, fourth at Catherine. Followed a good second in Darwin during the carnival. Did win. Uh, on Rowant Day, so this horse has been in pretty good form for the last um, couple of months and uh, can race well again. In for third, number six, Iron Lotus. She just can't win a race, this little filly uh, trained by uh, Gary Clark. Uh, Sonia Wiseman in the saddle. Uh, fifth last time out to dance this kin. That was on Cup Day. Give her another chance. And my fourth selection, number two, uh, good to be great. Four, one, six, and two. And the last, the Air North Memories Begin With Us Handicap. Uh, our highest graded race of the day. It's the benchmark 76. It's over a thousand metres and I dare say this could easily be a carnival race such as the quality of this field. My numbers here two, five, six and one. Going here with the obvious uh, uh, horse to beat, I'm too hot. Last start uh, broke the thousand metre track record when winning the Montgomery Lightning on Cup Day. A fairy tale win for the Gary Clark stable. Brendan Davis's only ride for the day uh, I'm too hot and I think from barrier seven, although that's out a little bit, uh, I think it'll be just too quick for them. Number two on top for me. To beat uh, number five, the stable mate Sky Muster from the Clark stable, Kim Gladwin in the saddle. Uh, third last start here uh, on day six in the feature behind Smuggling. Uh, back to the thousand metres, probably not ideal, but um, he's a class act on his day, Sky Muster. In for third, uh, we've got number six and that's Torchbearer. Chased home, uh, I'm too hot in the lightning. Carl Spry trains, Wayne Davis in the saddle. My fourth selection, number one, the captain, who of course last start went round in the Palmerston. Two, five, six and one in the last. The best bet of the day comes up in race two, as we mentioned, number four, recording to win. I think she's a handy uh, mare going places here for Phil Cole. So race uh, two, number four, recording to win. While the best roughy comes up in the same race, incidentally, and uh, it is number five, Alberta Magic. Race two, number five, Alberta Magic. Well, that wraps up this edition of Top End Track Talk, but we'll be back again in, in advance of our next meeting here in a fortnight. That will be the 14th of September. In the meantime, good luck and good punting.